Hello everyone, this is Steve and I run GreenFuelH2O.com. Check us out there if you need any HHO related products. What you have in front of you here is the 118 plate cell. It is ready to go. Uh, please see my previous three videos on uh, setting this up and uh, a run through on how it works. Today what we're going to do is fire it up. I've got it full full of water, got the bubbler filled up flashback arrestor on bucket full of water got the output line going into the water got a voltmeter, it's going to tell us our volts and we got a flute clamp on meter it's going to tell us our amps got an inline pump here and the HHO measuring device. We're going to try and hit 30 liters today. Down here on the floor, got our power supply. And I want to show you what runs this. I've had a lot of questions on what powers it. And there's no secrets here. No secrets at all. It is plugged into an 8,000 watt generator, gas generator. I don't have any HHO hooked up to this. This is just powering the whole experiment. So what I'm going to do is start this up, and we're going to turn it on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and kick it on. And that's a one gallon bubbler, to give you an idea. There's my hand. Because it ain't show in the water. Massive amounts of HHO. There's a water level on the center site. Let's check out our volts. Two hundred ninety two volts. Zero that out. Two hundred ninety one volts, nine point seven amps. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the pump. Basically, that's all I'm doing to turn that on. Now you can see it going. That pump is helping to keep water on the plates. Now we're up to 10.4 amps, 282 volts. As the amps go up, the volts will drop. But look at how steady the voltage is. That's because of the eight capacitors down here smoothing out the voltage so I get a nice even current going to the cell. I'm going to stick the camera on the tripod and take an initial uh, liter per minute. Okay, there's my one liter mark. I've got a one liter bottle, and as the bottom meets this mark, we'll stop the time. Okay, 
we've got 4.47 seconds. Pretty good initial start. Yeah, I'm going to take the temperature of the cell. I don't really have a good place to take it, so I'm going to take it right here on the reservoir. about 92 degrees. And as the uh, amperage raises up with temperature, I'm going to take a liter per minute test. Right now we're just going over 11. And as the temperature goes up, we're going to get more amperage here. And hopefully we're going to hit that 30 liter per minute. So as it sits right now, we're looking about 13.4 liters per minute. Now we're hitting 11.4 amps. I'm going to go ahead and take another test. Okay, ready? Go. We've got 3.78. 11.7 amps, 268 volts. So that works out to be 15.8, just about 16 liters a minute. We're going to go ahead and give it about 10 more minutes and we'll take another test. You can hear it now, it's really starting to make some noise. And look at that hose. We've got uh, about 12 amps. I'm going to wait until it gets to about 12 and a half to uh, run another test. Okay, we just hit 13 amps. I'm going to take another measurement here. 13 amps, 255 volts. Here we go. Ready? Go. 3.18 seconds. Okay, that works out to be 18.8 liters a minute. So we're getting close to the uh, 20 liters a minute. I think what I'm going to do is try this a different way. I'm going to add just a little bit more KOH. Let's see if I can pop it up to 30 liters a minute. I put in 9 liters of water and only 4 teaspoons of KOH. So, pretty weak concentration. I'm going to add a couple more teaspoons to it, see if I can pop it up to 30 liters a minute. Okay, I put more KOH in it and uh, it looks to be producing more. Holy crap! 